Mmm, yeah, that's good. S'more, s'more, s'more. Speed is fat. The speed is fat. The speed is fat. The speed is theft? Swedish chef. Say that ten times fast in a row. The Swedish foot fetish? See? <laughs> the, <laughs> the Swedish foot fetish? <laughs> <laughs> also yeah. speak up you speak up I'm doing actually pretty fine on the microphone your your voice also sounds really weird my voice sounds weird you sound different you're like <laughs> well that was I my... am Travel and hello that was me doing a Swedish chef impression Jason when <laughs> I was going chef? <laughs> were you really speaking in Swedish Approved for for initiation. I don't believe you. I'll be right back. I gotta deal with something. I gotta deal with something. I I, I gotta deal with something. Just give me a sec. But Jason, what is it? Just some stuff. That didn't really help. Not sure what's going on there. Okay, I'm back. What up, yo? Uh, I was cutting carrots earlier, like five minutes ago. And you contracted carrot disease. Seems that way, because... Where your hands become carrots slowly. The, the hand that was holding the carrots is now itching in between each of my fingers. The hand that holds the carrots. Yeah, that one. That hand. That's the one that's itching. Alright. Um, so, month... <laughs> yeah, month late. How long has it been? It's been about a month. I don't think weeks? we. I don't think we put one out in April at all. And this will be going up on Friday, the first of May. We took we took a break. We took a break, Un- unintended, longer than intended break. Yeah, because there was some stuff that happened, and um, well, we have yet to see if this one will even go up too. I guess, but I guess it should though. So should the last one. Yeah, we'll see. Worst comes to worst, I guess you'll have to... We'll figure something out. Don't worry about it. I'm... It'll be fine. All will be good. All right. So, yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. Hard. <laughs> well, let's yeah. see. We, mm. uh... Yeah. Mm. What's happened since we last recorded? Yeah. We moved? Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we moved. Uh, yes, we moved into the big city, Jason. Bright lights every city. night. Yes, uh, you can see the uh, traffic light from here. You can see the police from here. <laughs> every night, all the time. Mm-hmm. And I also bought GTA like two days ago, so that gets really confusing sometimes. <laughs> Where you're not sure whether you're hearing the police in real life or in the game. Yeah, like I was playing last night, and was it last night? Yeah, it was last night, and I was I was playing, and I just suddenly hear sirens, and I'm like, oh crap, what did I do? I didn't think I did anything. And then I'm like, oh wait, oh this is, that's those are real sirens. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Oh, it's just the real police. Oh, it's just the real police. Well, the thing is, the real, pe- real police don't leave me alone, because I'm, I'm, I'm a good citizen. I'm a great, great I'm citizen. A good citizen. But, 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 <laughs> uh, homo butts. Uh, in GTA, I'm less than a good citizen, so, as, as everyone is. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, I, I bet you don't obey traffic laws, you punk. I more than don't obey traffic laws. I invented traffic laws just to break them even more. Yes. So, yeah, uh, new location... A whole month of of growth and experience on us. Yeah. And fungus growing on us. Yeah, we're the same.
Wildly Working Hippies podcast. Yeah, nothing. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome us back with open arms, or we'll kill you. Or closed arms. Or closed arms. Because we understand that you don't want to touch people. And also, I don't either. And also, crossed arms, because we also understand that you may be upset about how we didn't put anything out for a while. No, anything. What was that, Jason? <laughs> anything out for a <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Um, partially me to blame. Mm, mostly you to mostly blame. Mostly me to blame. In fact, I'd, I'd go as far to say almost entirely you to blame. Yeah, so what happened was we recorded a podcast before we moved out, or, well, before I moved out, you went on a vacation. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, basically, here's how from the end of... March, basically, our schedules went. Travel moved out, I think, the 31st? 30th? Yeah, it was on my birthday. Yeah, it's 31st. Happy birthday, get the f*** out! Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say anything to you that day, I don't think, but <laughs> I, I kind of saw you for a few minutes. But anyway, so Travel moved out the 31st, uh, and my grandparents, whose house we were staying in, if you forgot, uh, moved back in on the 1st, or came back on the 1st. And then on the 3rd, I went away for a week and a half until the 13th. Travel was staying at some friends of ours in town here, mm-hmm. and then I returned, and a couple day, three days after that, we moved into this new apartment, where we've just been, you know, work, eat, sleep, all that stuff, for a, all those for things. a week or so now. Uh, two weeks, two weeks tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Now, so yeah. yeah. It's so day. the thing with that was, yeah, we recorded a podcast, and we it was going to go up... On the 29th or something, yeah. It was going to go up Friday, as expected. I sat down to edit it. Edited it. And realized I had packed up the, the <laughs> my components necessarily to transfer the data off the microphone to my computer, <laughs> and that was at my parents' house. Which was a half hour away. Yeah. So Travel said, screw it. And uh, I said, oh, we'll, we'll just wait till we fully move in, and then we can go from there. But? But last week... When we had moved in. When I sat down to edit the podcast... Again. Again. Try to. Uh, the data wouldn't transfer for whatever reason. Yeah. And uh, we... Uh, <laughs> I so fooled around with it for 20 minutes of being like... We have legendary lost, it, lost episode now, by the way. Yeah. This one's actually, you know, somewhat quality. I, well, mediocre. I, I don't know if it's I, quality. I, I don't, don't remember what we talked about on it. I don't remember, but I at least think it was decent. But yes, I guess technically the legendary lost episode. The true episode 27 or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we are at 27. I was just like, we're not that high. Should this one just be called 28? <laughs> I think so. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do that. All right, um, so, yeah, I went to transfer the data, and for whatever reason, it just wouldn't transfer in everything I tried. So, put a thing on Twitter saying, uh, we're going to be in another week late <laughs> in returning. Yeah. Uh, even even in returning, we were putting up an old one. <laughs> this is true. Which wouldn't have acknowledged, you know, the big break, but... Yep. But now we're back. We are back. Back in... Something. Back yeah. in business. Back back in black. Episode 28 from the Hardly Working Hippies. I sure hope that's the actual number we need. I think so. I'm pretty sure it is, but I'm not sure. And, uh, I'm Travel. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm Part-time on. Swedish chef. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm Jason, and my GTA character looks just like me. Smorgasbord. Actually, <laughs> you haven't seen... I went to a clothes shop, finally. And you made yourself look even more like you? I couldn't find any Crocs. Aww. So I got old man shoes instead. Oh, I thought sandals, but that's okay. my next. That's my next go-to, is Crocs, then old man shoes. But, and then... Except mine don't fit anymore. And but I also got cargo pants, a striped t shirt and a sweater. So Yeah, that's pretty much you. Pretty much. Still have my weird glasses. Even Yeah, weird. Like in high school I was known as a guy who only wore like five shirts. But I think you <laughs> 
literally only wear like five shirts. <laughs> I wear more shirts than that. You have a Batman shirt, you have that camp shirt you're wearing now, you have that striped shirt. I have two striped shirts, two camp shirts, two Batman shirts. <laughs> uh, what else do I wear? Uh, my West, or my Orange County Choppers t-shirt. <laughs> and occasionally a couple other just like brand name, like Quicksilver or whatever, hand-me-down t-shirts. Brand name, I only wear brands. <laughs> I only wear David Thompson Bible Camp brand t-shirts. <laughs> Limited edition. No, but on the other hand, I only wear like three sweaters ever. I have three sweaters that I wear. Even then, even then, I usually only a wear one. one. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, getting back into the swing of things, I don't know if you were doing this. I already found a news story. A weird news story, Jason. Oh yeah. A weird and terrifying news story. Are you ready for this? Go for it. Designer dildo contains loved one's cremated ashes. Dear Lord. Okay, can we stop? Please. Please don't read anymore, Travel. I don't want it. I don't want to hear. Please, no. But, but, fine. but the opening line is, it's a sex toy that someone, maybe you, will be dying to use. Okay, yeah. we're done. Um, <laughs> this has been the Hardly Working Hippies podcast. Uh, <laughs> thanks for listening. We'll be back next week. No. Dutch designer Mark Sturkenboom Sturkenboom good, good talk uh, has just created a sex toy that will that includes a mini urn to hold the cremated remains of that special someone. This erotically shaped urn is part of a twenty one is part of twenty one grams, a memory box devised by Sturkenboom. To help pe- help grieving people feel the presence of their loved ones. Um, That's not the presence I want, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> They'll feel it all right. <laughs> yes, they will. I don't think they're meant to feel it that way, though. <laughs> oh, true, though. I don't know if we ever mentioned this, but there was a bunch of those comments on the, on the website. Andrew struck again. Was it Andrew? Oh, you didn't see the tweet? No, I didn't see the tweet. Andrew made a tweet that he was like, just trolled the comment section at hippies.com or whatever. <laughs> hippies.com. Nice. So there's a uh, bunch floating around. Yes. I don't know. I don't know if this is Andrew. Uh, the the probably is. The username is uh, Chrome Tip Zipper. Well, it's Chrome. It's Andrew. Just dead giveaway. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay. But it's on the uh, ideas page. Maybe maybe the lighting could be better. <laughs> so, yeah, we need to. This yeah. room de- does need better lighting. Yeah, person. we're we're in the living room, or the the living space of our apartment, and it doesn't actually have a light in it. We've been meaning to try and find a lamp, but we haven't gotten. I might to have it gotten yet. us one. Oh, from my parents. Oh, we have plenty of lamps lying around, so I uh-huh. talked to my dad, and he was like, "Can we get lamps?" I'm like, you yeah, know, whatever. Yeah, we're. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we could we could do some more lighting, but we do have light coming in from the window. So we have a giant window, and during the day, it's totally fine. At night, well, there's curtains. Kind of. There's actually no, there's like no street lights on this road. There's one right there. I can, I'm oh. looking at one right oh. now. From my view, that was in between the two windows. <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't see it. Uh, back to this article, Jason. Uh, damn it. No, there, this is important. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> you may want one day. <laughs> uh, besides the death oriented dildo, uh, Stoic and Boom's memory boxes come with a perfume dispenser that can hold the departed signature scent, an iPod amplifier so the bere- bereaved can play the songs that remind them of the deceased, and it can hold other keepsakes related to the dead loved one, and comes with a brass key that can be worn as a pre- worn as a pendant. It also okay. holds the dildo. <laughs> Of course. So. Oops. Oops. So. Video ads. Stop. Yeah, well, Um, I'm just. So what are you doing tonight? Well, you know, me and. uh, Me and Jim. (laughs) Me and my old boy over here. We're going to have some fun. Didn't he die like a year ago? Yeah. Oh, so you uh, (laughs) 
this is... I see no, no way that this could be a good idea. Uh, ever. Yeah. And I know there are fetishes out there, but this goes far beyond nearly anything. Also, wouldn't this in some way count as necrophilia? Um, I guess? Not really, no. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it would, because... Because they're cre- cremated ashes. They're not technically really a person anymore. Technically, there's that, but also they're kind of just shoved inside something. That's like <laughs> <laughs> that's like saying, um, Jason, that's what sex is. <laughs> no, hold up, hold up, you know. That's like saying that. I I don't know. I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. I was I was trying to think of something that would be the same, but the only thing big enough that I can think of is like a train going into a tunnel or something. Saying <laughs> that's sex. Just because there's people inside doesn't mean they're involved. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Just because somebody is inside an object doesn't mean, and then that object is inserted into somebody else's object. Such as a train going into a tunnel. <laughs> Such as a train going into a tunnel. That doesn't mean whoever's inside is directly involved with that. Alright, uh, did you find a news story? Uh, doubtful you can top that. I feel pretty proud on this one. But did you find one? Uh, I'm having trouble finding anything, but... You go to HuffPost? Let's see. Finnish million, millionaire hit with... A seventy-one thousand dollars speeding ticket. What millionaire? Swedish or Finnish? Oh. Sorry. Oh, Finnish. <laughs> Finnish. Not not okay, a Swedish I thought, chef. I thought that was a company or something, but no, from Finland. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he must have been going really fast. He was going a hundred and two kilometers per hour in an eighty kilometer an hour zone. That's not bad. That's but, only um, twenty-two kilometers over. So I guess he's getting. Is he getting like taxed according to his gross income? Let's see. Is that a thing? That seems like a good thing. Speeding tickets in Finland are geared to income, yeah. Ah, see? I think. Apparently, if he had been driving three kilometers an hour slower, so less than 20 over, then his speeding ticket would have been about $100. But, well. so, a three kilometers per hour made the jail plane, uh, and three kilometers per hour made the difference between... Uh, between a hundred dollars to like seventy thousand. Yep. Wow. That uh, ooh, that's gonna sting for that guy. <laughs> that's really gonna sting. Like, dude, he is. He is. This guy is. This is not the first time that he's been caught speeding and been giving a big, been given a big ticket either. Really? Apparently, he also. Uh, got, in 2013, about an $85,000 speeding ticket for going 122 kilometers per hour in an 80 zone. So this guy just really hates 80 zones. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Jason. Maybe an 80 zone killed his mother. <laughs> like, she was walking past a sign, and the sign that said 80... Fell down. Yeah, fell down. Chopped her in half. Yeah. Yeah. And he never forgave those zones since. So then he drove faster to cause recklessness and danger to other people who are in 80 zones. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I wonder if it's picking up on the mic, but it's like this high squeal. It's like a thud and then like the squealing <laughs> noise. <laughs> Doom. Doom. So yeah. it's like... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Um, do you hear the guy, the people upstairs? Do you hear the people upstairs, Jason? The only thing I hear of them is foot, foot, footsteps. Yeah. I've never heard them talk. No. Well, are you doubtful that you normally would? Oh, and the maintenance guy's leaving. He's... Guess he's not fixing our wall today. <sighs> now, you were By like... You were like... I was... I've been complaining about this forever. I was like, why don't they just get it done? And you've been like, uh doesn't really matter, does it? It doesn't. But you just groaned. <laughs> it's true, I did just groan. Mainly because he said he'd be in on Monday, but... Was he in on Monday? He showed up for like five minutes, and then he said he'd come back the next day, and I did not see him the next day. And, and he wasn't here today. Not yet, anyways. So, 
Uh, did you call Telus, by the way? Um, briefly. Okay. I I called them, yeah, and it was I got nothing. <laughs> okay, because they, they tried no calling me. Oh yeah. But I didn't pick up in time. Did they leave a message? Nope. Oh, yeah. Uh, to uh, elaborate this a bit more. Okay, so we got jibbed. We got G. Um, I've heard that that actually may be an offensive term. To Egyptians? No, gypsies. I don't know. I don't care. We got... It's not even spelled like that. It's, uh, I spell it J-I-P. No, you're spelling it P. wrong, then. <laughs> doesn't matter. I can spell it however I want. Words are mine. Words are mine. <laughs> They're no longer made up. <laughs> they belong to me. <laughs> I can spell words however I want. I own them. <laughs> um... Yeah, so when we moved into this apartment, part of the deal with our lease is that we were getting internet and TV and for a year. satellite TV and then also a literal TV. Yeah, and when we called, I when I had to call to set up the account, I asked them and could, like, definitely, I asked them and I was confirmed, yes, you will be, el- you will get a free TV. And I was like, cool, that's sweet. And then recently, and then they called me and I was like, "Hey, give us money." <laughs> <laughs> this is true. That happened as well. But so then, I called, uh, or then the maintenance guy came in, and not the building maintenance, the Telus uh, technician came in and set up our stuff, which I ended up having to redo. But whatever. Well, it's cause mainly this just because we had poorly to move designed. It. Yeah, mainly because we just had to move it, and I had to there was no, cable. there was no. Uh, Ethernet port to set up in the living room. It's not an Ethernet port, it's a phone jack. But okay, okay, well, there's no phone... There's no phone jack in the main space. There's one by the front door and one in my bedroom. Yeah. Which are at opposite ends of the house, or apartment. But anyways, uh, so... But yeah, and, and like, he told me, oh yeah, it'll be like four to six weeks, uh, they just have to ship it. With, and the courier company has to be super careful, because it's a TV. And yeah. And I'm like, okay, cool, I'm, I'm fine with that. And so, then... We were talking with our neighbors, uh, who are our friends who Travel was staying with. Joe and Brianna. Joe and Brianna. And they Possibly w- mentioned before on this. I don't know if they've been or Mentioned. Not. Probably. They haven't but been on it. No, they, they might be in the future. Who knows? But anyway, so... And they were like, so are you going to get to keep this TV, or are you going to have to like send it back? And I'm like, that'd be lame, but I guess I'll just check with Telus. So I sent Telus an email, and I'm like... So this free TV thing, do we get to keep it? And they're like, well, you would, but you don't get one. I'm like, what? Huh? I, I, and I'm like, what? We, we were, I was told multiple times by multiple people that I was getting one. And then whoever I was talking with is like, no, nah, I looked at your account, and you got like promotional pricing or some crap. Whatever that means. Cheaper bills, I guess, but we're not paying the bills. No, that's part of our lease, so. Yeah. Yeah, so, all in all, it's really done. Yeah, so we gotta... Now, I... it's weird for me to say, because uh, this is something I try to live by, uh, if something's free, you shouldn't complain. Yeah, but, no, that's Cause... that's fine, that's fine. If something's free, you shouldn't complain, that's true. But if you're told you get this, and yeah, then we were told, told by you multiple don't. sources... From the company that we were going to be <laughs> getting that free TV. And this promotional pricing thing, I was never told about. Nope. Me neither. Never heard of it. So. Yeah. So, uh, I guess we gotta look for a TV. Yeah. So you called them, though? Or what? Yeah, I called them and I was like, uh... People in the building were also told this deal, and they was like, well, it doesn't apply. Right. So it was like, did okay, thanks, them, bye. Did you tell them we were told, like, when we set up the account that we'd get one? No. Because I was. I, I, I assumed you asked. mentioned that. Yeah, I told her, but whatever. Yeah. I guess we'll have to go buy a freaking TV then. We still have those flyers. Also, learning something with a living in an apartment and such... Apparently, that means we're on the flyer list for our mailbox. Yep. So, uh, check the mail, and aside from two things you got in the mail, all we've gotten is flyers. I don't know you're... Okay, one of those was from NMAX, and that was just a confirmation of our account. Uh, power. Yeah. The other one was not even for me. 
There was something about voters. Like, for the oh, last right, people that who one. lived here. For the past people or current occupants, it said. Or current occupants, but I haven't gotten my eligibility to vote thing yet, so. I gotta send that off. There's a mailbox, like, just down the street. <laughs> I should send that off. I have Probably. it sealed and everything. You got a stamp on it? Uh, no, it was already... Oh. They, like, included the envelope. Sweet. When I got the package saying, hey, hey, you there. I see how old you are. <laughs> you want to vote? <laughs> you want to vote? I was like, Fuck up! yeah, I want to vote. <laughs> I don't think I'm I think I stated when I turned 18 that out of the things I could do with this new adulthood and such, voting was probably on the top of the list. Yeah, which I, I yeah, like I said, I, I don't think it think still I can. is. Because I'm not, I don't drink that much. I'm a social drinker, if anything. Yeah. And I don't smoke. I guess porn. (laughs) There's that, yeah. Okay, second on the list (laughs) is voting. I gotta say, uh, right, correct access to porn, you know, that's cool. (laughs) Um... Uh, is it, wait, Andrew's still only 18, right? Andrew? Yeah. Andy. Andy. That's funny. Why? Cause oh, because he, he's still... To, he went to Vancouver, so now he still can't drink. Yeah. Because in BC, you have to be 19. Oh, it's the same story with Ricky. This is true. Although she I... won't be 19 till August. Actually, I think, yeah, both her and Andrew are both in late August. Oost. 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 Hurtis Burgerberg. Sure, Harvin. Durkerberg, there's Durkerberg in August. Welcome to Making Weird Noises with Javala Jason. Welcome to Swedish Chef Cast. <laughs> <laughs> with your host, Swedish Chef Travel. And Finnish Chef regular Jason. <laughs> Finnish Chef Jason. Derp, <laughs> derp. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, we're like the freaking Muppets. But that's what Swedish Chef is. Swedish Chef is a Muppet. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're just like that thing that it is. <laughs> uh, there you go. <laughs> so anyways. Uh, yeah, my weird news story wasn't that weird, though. Just big bills. Just big... I think that's cool. That is... That's nice. Yeah. On, dude, I once read an article about how Finland has the best school system in the world. Oh, yeah? Uh, I don't remember all the facts, but something like 12 students to teacher, and they're... Uh, nice. So, with stuff like that, the smaller classroom sizes and teachers, they have like a... I want to say in the 90s is their high school completion rate, and like 75 is their university completion rate. Golden. So their school system is golden. Actually, all those, the, those countries in that area, like Finland, Sweden. They all have good school systems. Norway. This is true. They all have good school, well, they have like a socialist economy. Yeah. Where, um, I think we watched a video back in school, like, uh, I don't remember which one it was, but something like you can go to school for pretty much whatever you want and it's almost entirely covered by the government. Yeah. And yes, they do pay higher they do pay higher taxes, but it's also like that guy <laughs> clearly found out. Yeah. Okay. It's so, graded on your income. Yeah. So actually this guy has oh. said he has said online now he's considering leaving the country because quote Finland is now an impossible country to live in for people with a large income and wealth, unquote. Yeah, he wants... He yeah, wants, if you speed. <laughs> well, no, he, he wants to be like the American 1%. Who get low taxes, yeah. I know. Well, but, they get same taxes, pretty much. Yeah, but... Instead no, of the but, graded system. But this is hilarious to me. Because th- he's losing money because he broke the law. Like, it's not, yeah. like, just a natural part of his society. He he chose to do something, and now he's complaining about the consequences of that. Well, how else will he get revenge for the <laughs> for the 80 zone that killed his mother? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he 
you could just knock them down, knock down the signs, instead of, you know, go speeding through and then complain when he gets his money taken away. So, I don't think I've talked about it on the podcast, but one of my favorite Twitter things is uh, Amazon Movie Reviews, and it's kind of in the very same vein of the IMDb user reviews that I've brought up on here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Where it just, like... Let me search up an example. But it's just this person who has found all these fantastic reviews of movies on Amazon. <laughs> Some feel like they're there on purpose, but others... Just, like, people don't know how to use these review things. Uh, <laughs> perhaps, like, this tweet... Uh, this is a pin tweet on this page. Um, the wolf uh, review for the Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, one star. There are no wolves in this movie. <laughs> See, it's awesome stuff like that. Yeah. Or <laughs> for the movie, the color purple. I could I could do a whole podcast just read through these tweets, but I'm gonna stop myself before too long. So the color purple. One star. Uh, the color purple, more like the color brown. This site deleted my first review of the film, and I have no idea why. <laughs> Maybe because you called it more like the color brown. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if you know what this movie is about, Jason, but it's about black, or it is about black people. I'm trying to think of. I'll just bring up the IMDb description. Sure. Um. Uh, the life and trials of a young African American woman in like uh, slavery times or just po- post slavery times. Wow. Okay. And he's like more like the color brown. Why did my review go down? <laughs> What's up with this? <laughs> yeah. Uh, people are stupid. Oh, very much so. Uh, oh. <laughs> Star Wars trilogies episode uh, Star Wars trilogy episodes four through six, five stars. The highlight of the trilogy is when Yoda eats Luke's breadsticks. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> See, these are amazing, and uh, oh. and I I discovered it like after I did the podcast of finding these reviews, yeah. user reviews, because I've always been reading the user reviews every now and then. And they're just all... Incredible. If anyone knows, they're incredible. Um, you got another one for us? Oh, well, I'm trying to find a good one. Do you want to just talk a bit while I search through here? Uh, sure, sure. Talk a bit, yes. Um, welcome to Dancing with the Stars. Welcome to... Welcome Actually, to Jason... I just stunned I just, on sorry, the spot. <laughs> I just gotta, I, I just gotta stop because I just thought of something. All right, we could. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pitch this to you on the podcast. And anyone who's listening, go on the the comments for this podcast when it comes out on Friday, and and yay or nay this idea of mine. We could possibly do a show just reading user reviews, rather than just doing it on the podcast all the time. It could evolve could, from it, yeah. We could just do a show, like a ten-minute show, every week or so, of just that. Yeah, it could evolve from that. I think that would be fun. Okay, I think I found one. Oh? Um, uh, this is a review I found for the Lego movie. Okay, sure, sure. It's a... And, uh... <laughs> According to this, the review may contain spoilers, so if you haven't seen the Lego movie, well, one, it came out last year, and two, eh, I'm not going to shame anybody for not doing that. Okay, there's, uh, there's another, why are there so many planes flying by right now? It's kind of weird. Uh, anyways, so, uh, Travel, insert a uh, time when the, the, the spoilers for the Lego movie will be over in editing. Maybe.
4401. Good. Okay. Anyways. If you heard a time, then... Then it, it worked. worked. <laughs> <laughs> um, this review is titled, Just Awful, An Awful Mess, One Star Out of Ten. Okay, mm-hmm. sure. Some of the other reviewers have said it better than I can, but here goes. This movie is just plain awful. I played with Legos as a kid. I saw that this movie had very high ratings. Those are two sentences. <laughs> um, I had high expectations. I was sorely disappointed. This person likes periods. <laughs> After every thought. <laughs> period, 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 period. Okay. This is one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Why? First of all... No, thanks for asking. Uh, let me tell you. <laughs> all right, go ahead. First of all, the movie just seemed to start with no opening credits, no title sequence. Maybe the theater messed it up. I don't know. But for the first two or three minutes, I didn't know if the movie had actually started. It's a movie in the Lego... That, that It should be it. <laughs> it's all in Lego. How do you know if it didn't start or not? <laughs> Is this the Lego movie? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Well, and is the movie going to start yet, or was the, the the trailers finally over? And with it, I I don't quite remember how the title sequence for that one goes. Yes, Isn't it? If, or if there was one. Does he not just, like, does it not just start with him getting out of bed and reading his books or not something? Not quite. Uh, it starts with uh, oh, yeah, it Morgan starts with... Freeman and uh, President Business. That's right. That's right. Okay. Doing, and then the prophecy, and then he starts with his everyday... Uh, reading his book about how to be, make friends. Yeah. <laughs> and be a good person. Yeah, but yeah, it's all Lego! It's all Lego, yeah. I don't know what you're expecting, sir. <laughs> person. Um, second, how can you build any suspense when there are no rules to reality? The characters apparently can't die. Whenever a character gets into a fix, they just grab some Legos and build something to get out of it. Driving down a road and meet a police roadblock? Then just morph into an airplane. Enter a room surrounded by bad guys. Just beat them up and beat them all up and tear them to pieces. Okay, um, I don't know what you're expecting, person. Uh, did you want realistic suspense with your Lego movie? <laughs> did you want blood? And... Did you want Jim? No. Did no. Well, at least he's we blocking can... out, guys. He's blocking out. We need some extra Legos here right away. We need a replacement head and three hands. <laughs> Uh, well, at least we know what we can do after he's been cremated. <laughs> um, no, don't bring it back. Uh, just like... <laughs> not only is it a Lego movie, where previous Lego stuff, I don't know, whatever you want to say, like Lego Island or any Lego video games or short films or pretty much anything, it's not It's not really in the canon, so say, that Lego characters die. <laughs> nope. I mean, at best, the brickster gets thrown in a jail cell. Exactly. And, uh, and second of all, Lego... it's a kid's movie. Yeah. <laughs> How often do you expect there to be, like, the real threat of death upon the characters? <laughs> Not that often. Okay, spoilers, but, uh... How to change your... Yeah, I know. That was I said on average... I, guess, I was thinking but... of it too. The poster is literally <laughs> right behind me. Yeah, I, well, both of them. The first one? Yeah. He loses his freaking leg, dude. It's not the threat of death. He almost that kind died. of is. But no, <laughs> that actually, yeah, that series is very different. It actually does address death and injury and you know stuff. Real and dragons and dragons. You real, know, real, real stuff. Real stuff. <laughs> um, but no, like you're expecting. You're expecting... How can you build suspense when there are no rules to reality? It's a goddamn Lego movie! For kids! Yeah, it's Lego. There are no rules to Lego, dude. What do you expect? That's also kind of the point of the movie. Yeah, that's kind of... And there's also, that's also the point of the toys. Mm-hmm. Build whatever the hell you want. Yeah, they come in sets, but are you going to stick to those sets? Hell no. Nobody sticks to those sets except middle-aged men. Middle-aged white men, specifically. All right, um... And Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> I used to stick to sets for a while. Oh, yeah. I stick to sets for a while, and then oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. then further. I build them, and then I take them apart. Yeah, and build something else. Um, the movie moves at such a fast pace, okay. you don't have time to stop and catch your breath. 
The jokes were firing one after the other so fast you didn't have time to stop to laugh. There was no comedic timing. Bull shrimp. And then the end was so, uh, bracket, as others have said, bracket, heavy-handed, ugh. Yeah, it is heavy-handed, but I think it works. I'll agree with you there. Sure. Being like, basically a big dramatic message kind of comes out of nowhere. Yep, this is true. But it works, right? Yeah, it was fine. And, uh... Uh, this line, I would have left the theater halfway through, except I couldn't leave my children. <laughs> God dang kids always holding me back. <laughs> I just want to leave. Well, if you're there I mean, to watch it with your kids, then who cares if you like it or not? It's for them. So disappointed. That's how it ends. That's how this review ends, Jason. And I don't... I don't know what this person is really talking about, because I will check in a moment, but as far as I understand, the Lego movie went over great with critics and audiences alike. Yep. I don't know who these others he's ta- this person's talking about are. Other people like him. He's in a fan club. The Lego movie sucks dot com. Yeah. <laughs> Lego movie sucks bricks dot com. <laughs> I'm gonna search that right now. Yeah, I don't I don't agree with this person and their choices to this. It was a oof. Oh dear. Um so Jason. Yes. It seems like right now we're in this big information stream about like a bunch of stuff coming out. There's a whole slew of trailers that came out recently mm-hmm. and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, this I only read about yesterday and there's not like any trailer or anything. Um, they're making a new Dragon Ball show. Yes, this is true. You read this? I didn't read it, but I talked about it with one of my coworkers. Dragon Ball Super, which yeah. will take place after Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball Z. Dragon Ball, what did they call it? What's the Japanese? It's like... I don't remember. But, yeah, it's like one syllable. <laughs> it's like one syllable, you know, out of all of those things. Yeah. Just one. <laughs> but yeah. So, the Lego Movie Sucks and the Lego Movie Sucks Bricks.com don't exist. Oh. But. Um. Um. Okay, that's a bit lower than I thought it was. A Metacritic score of 83 out of 100 for the Lego movie. Oh, yeah? And... Rotten Tomatoes, that's what I was going to look at. I am actually here. At Rotten Tomatoes. On the Lego movie. <laughs> On location. <laughs> <laughs> On the web. Oh, see, yeah, ninety six percent of critics liked the Lego Movie, and the audience of eighty seven percent liked it. So, yeah, 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 yeah. This person is not very well researched. Yeah, and I mean, like on my, even for me, it's like, eh, yeah. eh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Lego Movie. It's build up, build up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Lego movie was not as good as I expected it to be. Honestly. You still enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, but you had I, really uh, hyped it up. Yeah. You you saw it like a year later, so And I was like, eh. There's a bit of too much hype. And you and you're like, Oh man, I love it so much, I love it and I'm like It's okay. I guess. Yeah. So Dragon Ball Super coming yeah. out. There's gonna be new Super Saiyan God forms, I hear. Most likely, because yeah, with the popularity of these two new movies that have come out, and uh, I don't know why that had to resurrect the franchise, because it hasn't died down. Actually, <laughs> there just hasn't been new animated properties. There's still like a new Dragon Ball Z game every year. This is true. So it's weird that they had to make two movies to actually resurrect the franchise. Mm-hmm. 
Um, but, uh, also got a new Star Wars trailer. Mm-hmm. Oh, another new one? No. This, oh, okay. this is the one that came out a while ago. And it, we've, been, right. we've been off for a month, Jason. Forget it. Uh, we got um, the Superman v-, v. Batman trailer. Did you watch that one? It's nope. interesting. Oh, yeah. And, uh... I feel like there's more news. <laughs> I can't think of any more news, though. <laughs> Dunno. Let's see here. What are you looking for? I'm just looking up Dragon Ball, Su- Dragon Ball Super. Ah. I really can't think of anything else. Um, and we're a bit shy of an hour. Do you want to just kind of end it? Nah, let's just talk. Talk? Talk about what? Uh, I don't know. Ow. Ow? (laughs) I'm cracking all over here. I'm cracking up, crack, man. Crack, 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 crack. <laughs> well, this is the crack dan as described by Jake. <laughs> oh, yeah, and on the other hand... Uh, I guess we can talk about that. Yeah, uh, we, all, we, we have two names for our apartment now. Um, the original name, is uh, the it future. is known as The Future. The Future. Mainly just because I want to be able to say, I have to go back. Back to the future. Back to the future. And so our Wi-Fi name is the DeLorean. Yeah. And more jokes ensue from this one. <laughs> yeah, are sure to arise as well. Yes. But, and then apparently right now, because uh, Joe and Brianna got bed bugs in their place, so they're so staying been, up here right now. They've been sleeping... In our living room. On a mattress. No, Chevelle. <laughs> on, <laughs> on the air. <laughs> Yeah, they've been sleeping on the air. Somehow mastered that ability. Yeah. Uh, um, and so... When Jake came, came over... yesterday. Uh, he said this place kind of looks like a crack den with the mattresses on the ground and all the food and other stuff kind of scrambled around and the box ghetto apparel that we have. It's okay. It's okay. It's cool. It's okay. It's okay. Is my house now. Apartment. Whatever. <laughs> Not important. Yeah, we got... We should do, like, a video or something. Of... Uh, New office video. <laughs> New office tour. An office tour video? Yes. <laughs> we could tour all three rooms of our apartment. Very exciting that would be. Yeah. Let's just stick to the uh, comments and movie reviews instead. All right, man. Um, well, I killed another couple minutes. You got anything else? <laughs> nah, I'm done. All right. Uh, as always, you can contact the... That was a movie poster just falling down. I can hear it a mile away. <laughs> that was, it came from your room, Jason. It came from my room. I'll go fix it later. Uh, yeah, you can contact the show at hardlyworkinghippies at gmail.com or uh, on the hardlyworkinghippies.com website. Yeah, there's comments, ideas, other stuff. There for podcast and more. Um, more. My bets, soon. out of your two posters, my bets was that was Cloud Atlas. It is Cloud Atlas. You sure? You don't want to bet against me? No. No. I, I want to bet on Cloud Atlas as well. So either we both win or we both lose. That's great. All right, let's see. Let's um, take a look. I'm Travell. You can follow me on Twitter at a ski one. Damn it, we were both wrong. It was. <laughs> it was <laughs> Kingsman. Dang it. <laughs> I was sure it was going to be Cloud Atlas because it fell down yesterday, or it was falling down yesterday, and I was like, mm. oh, well. yeah. So, Travell's a ski glasses. Yeah. Or a ski underscore glasses here if you're on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And I'm AcePod000 on Twitter and AcePod00 anywhere else you want to go. Anywhere else you want to go, baby. <laughs> on the interwebs. Anywhere else on the interwebs that I am available, I will be AcePod00. 
When we make love, call me Ace Pilot Zero Zero. <laughs> when we make love, you can just call me Ace Pilot Zero Zero. zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I think that's pretty much it. Um, we should be updating every Friday again. Should be. Yeah, and there should be other stuff being sprinkled in, hopefully. Sprinkled. Still gonna edit those Let's Plays. But yeah, we're gonna put one in here, and one over there, and sprinkle a little bit of comments or something over here. Sprinkle and... comments on them. <laughs> <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> but like, learn to shoot com- F-A- <laughs> Comment on our own videos. <laughs> This is so good. These guys are so talented. Give them all the money. (laughs) All right. Uh, Bye. Bye.